is Abraham Klein. And my name is Caleb Williams. And uh, this is the Abe and Cape Show. That's right. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm wearing my nice little hat that has my all elite cuts on it. Ooh, so motion. It took forever to get this in the in the mail. Did it really? How long did it, it take? It, it, it took a long time. I remember I ordered it, and they didn't even send me a confirmation that it was ordered, and I thought, oh no! I've been scammed because you know it was like twenty yeah. bucks for this stupid yeah. hat. Do you have um, you have your like your own website or that kind of thing too? No, I went to a website to buy. Oh, okay. It was like get a custom. It's like kind of like my uh, my cape over there, which you can't see. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've we've got some more messages, okay. and honestly, you know, this might be the last time we're doing this. I know we had some pretty good views last yeah. time we did it. We've, it's been it's been fun. It's been real. But the the thing is the the amount of uh, messages on here are kind of decreasing that they're not funny mm. uh, that not appropriate they're not appropriate either because right. you know we try and keep it at least a little bit clean on here we try we, yeah. we do try sometimes right. it happens sometimes it does but we try so yeah. uh, this might be the last messages episode unless something happens or at least we might there might be a whole lot of different stuff spread out between. who knows who knows you we know, don't know we'll do them we when we can it's up to you viewers well it's mostly up to reddit isn't it it is up to reddit mostly up to reddit, reddit has been pretty nasty to me yeah anyway should i a 21 male dump my girlfriend a 24 year old free female oh. to avoid being cheated on this is going to be very very controversial myself and my girlfriend have been dating for three to four months now uh, officially boyfriend and girlfriend for one and a half months. Quite short. Yes, I know. I don't know why that matters, but... We are both students. We are both working long hours, too, and express our feelings of love to each other. There are no issues within our relationship at all. The other day, I went out with my, her, I don't know what it says, with me and her friend, mm. and her, um, to a restaurant. She had left her phone at home and hesitantly suggested I go get it five minute walk so she could remain catching up with her friend of course okay and this is a girlfriend so uh oh, well, yeah still. so it's not no, it's not that you see it's not the obvious continue. Continue. yeah i went to go get it on the way or walking back with her phone i opened it as i knew her password and checked her instagram dms wow in there, I found her messaging a guy with the reaction of love eyes emoji to his Instagram story multiple times, to which he never responded. I know it was wrong of me to go through her phone, but myself and this girl promised each other commitment. I am an attractive guy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Somebody put that meme of that Obama putting a medal on himself. <laughs> I am an attractive, attractive guy. Yeah, exactly. He's also very, very, very humble. He's very humble as well. Uh, and have had many opportunities to get with other women during our time together. Wow. Mm. Mm. Many may say, I'm blowing this out of proportion, but I see this as a total violation. The reaction to his story on multiple occasions is her expressing her attraction to him. My girlfriend has stated in the past to never embarrass her by hitting on other girls, which I can wholly agree with as I would like reciprocation. However, this feels like a violation of this agreement. I'm a firm believer of other that other people never truly change. The reason I would dump her over this is to avoid being cheated on in the future before it ever happened. Please let me know your opinion so I can see this form from a different angle, mm. or if you agree with me. Wow. What's the guy's name? Doesn't say. Okay, well, no, I'm just We're going to call him Darren. Darren? Darren. He kind of sounds like a Holden to me. Holden? Holden, yeah. yeah that's or Gavin, good, maybe. Yeah, whatever you decide. Let's call him Gavin. Gavin. Gavin, listen, Gav. Um, <clears throat> wow. You're 21 and she's 24. Is that what it said? He's 21 Uh, yes. Wow. Wow. You go get him, man. Um, so, he's, um... Okay, um, he doesn't mention that he's discussed this with her. No, 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 no. So already there's broken yes. communication. He goes to, um, I don't know, people he doesn't know on Reddit, Yeah. but doesn't go to his girlfriend yeah. 
to ask, hey, what's this all about? That's right. Instead, he goes to strangers and asks the question. So that's your first problem. Um, Which has been open, kind of an ongoing thing for like every one of these. Well, most of them. Some of them say they confront them and, and yeah. others don't. But yeah, a lot of them just go... I mean, again, the first thing with every relationship, which, ask me, if anybody knows it's about him. relationship, it's relationships, it's me, um, I'm an expert, trust me, I'm a doctor, not a doctor, but anyway, um, yeah, communication is key, if you can't be honest and ask each other what's going on, which obviously, he sees this as a betrayal, mm -hmm. she's... Well, you know, she might see us as him overreacting. But either way, you got to be willing to talk to one another. I once said, famously, said, <clears throat> I would rather you hurt me with your words than kill me with your silence. That's right. And I believe that's very important. The best thing he can do is talk to her about it and say, what's this all about? And kind of go from there. Um, I do think, now, we're not talking as far as I can tell, um, people that are religious or Christian in any way. No, no. So, um, for many relationships, you know, they're open as far as some things are concerned when it comes to, like, you know, they'll have, uh, uh, you know, friends that they privately talk to that are not their significant other, um, and that's okay, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And so her liking a guy's story mm -hmm. is one thing. If she's not having, like, um, actual private conversation yeah. with this guy... And talking about, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I know. Well, the thing is, too, you know how Instagram works when you're, like, reacting to stories and stuff like yep. that? It sends it as a message. It does. Even though it does, it, it, it sends shouldn't. it as a message, it right. It really shouldn't. Right. And, and he doesn't even say here what the actual story was. Right. So it could be the dude's dog, and you know it how you be. know how ladies love dogs. They love dogs. They love animals. They love every general. kind of dog. That's right. They love they yeah. love the little bulldog down the street that yeah. would totally rip their face off. They just want to hug all of them, but they can't. They, they can't, can't hug they every just dog. They just can't. So they send love heart emojis. They do. And that's probably... He doesn't say what it is. We really need the context to this. We do. It could we be do. a dog. But it, honestly... I feel like there's another side to this that we... Like, if it was DMs and it wasn't reaction to the story, right, right. then there would be a whole if lot more. If she was issues. like, oh, that's such an adorable dog. You and I should date. Yeah, then it, yeah. Then you'd have something really worried about. But it's about. like, it's a story. For it's goodness like, sakes, you don't know what. Yeah, it, that's a cool lamp. Why aren't you my boyfriend? And yeah, it, doesn't even, like that. it doesn't even say that he looked at the story to actually see what it was. It right. just said reactions. Yeah, so, she reacted a lot of stuff. So, she obviously trusts you enough to know what the password to her phone is. Yeah, she obviously doesn't care, so right. she has nothing to hide. She has nothing to hide. So the fact that, yeah, I don't know. Let's move on. Yes. Next one. My dad is no longer liking me. This hmm. is exactly... See, I copy-pasted these, so if they're funnily uh, worded like that just now, uh, basically that's what... So okay. All right. So... I took like six bucks from the dad's wallet in two dollar bills. <laughs> so three two dollar bills? Yes. Yeah, like that. a while ago. Maybe two months ago at this point. Anyways. On Tuesday, he comes back from a business trip, says hi to my siblings and I, and goes into his room and asks us if any of us have taken some of his money and he seemed in a rather cool collective state. So I denied it. Because... I thought what? I would get out of this one and hope they'd forget it. Anyways, cut to the next morning. I wake up and my mom seems very mad, sad, mad slash sad. I asked yeah, I her. Some water for this one. This is crazy. Continue. You're, not, you're not drinking the water too, are you? No, just the water one. Okay. <laughs> for those who don't know, we didn't see the other video. This is water too. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Continue. Um. I asked her what's going on and she said, your dad might talk to you about the money that was gone and accused me of stealing it. My mom seemed rather insulted that her own husband of nearly 17 years would accuse her of stealing when she was never, when, yeah, when she has never stolen from him. Anyways, he likes that word a lot. Anyways, yeah, anyway. later that night, I go upstairs to ask my mom for something and my dad is like, yo, did you take this? And I say, yes, not wanting this lie to continue any longer. Hmm. So he likes, why didn't you come clean? 
always come clean. I don't want to lose trust in you, which I completely agree with and all that, but my mom's still super offended that her husband would accuse her of such thing. Later, <laughs> my dad slept on the couch even though my mom didn't ask him to. They've been kind of off standing to each other. What do I do? Like, why did he come cool? He's like, he's cool and collective. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, so I think it's important mm -hmm. that we award this person with something right now. Yes. You are an idiot. <laughs> you are an idiot. <laughs> That's the reward. We're christening you an idiot. Because that was extremely stupid. stupid. Okay, so... <laughs> The thing is, all right, it's not right to do, but I can understand if a person is in a moment where they come out and they're like, who took my money? They're like, it wasn't me, you know? Uh, then I can see that. I can understand. I'm not saying it's right, but I can understand it. When they're like, hey, you know, uh, we're, I'm wondering, I had like six bucks and two dollar bills, where'd it go? Oh man! <laughs> Did you guys like need it for something? Yeah. Because right? if you do, uh, that's it wasn't so... me. Yeah. No, it wasn't me. Yeah. And then he has to now continue to wonder, where did six bucks go? Again, a very small amount. But right. Right. Now he's wondering where did six bucks go? So by your nonchalant attitude of being an idiot, um, he now then has to assume somebody else took it, and so he accuses his wife. She gets mad. Hmm. It's almost like. When you lie, consequences consequences happen, and so all so again, all of this could have been what 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 was he asking advice for? Um, like how to get out of it, or like how to not be the bad guy and all this. It said the title was "My Dad Is No Longer Liking Me." Well, yeah, and it said, yeah. "What do I do?" Uh, become more likable. Yeah, honestly. Uh, don't be an idiot. Don't steal. Don't steal. I mean, you don't literally, lie. You literally well, could have called your dad. Those are like basic things everybody should like know. Like children. Like the, like, the yeah, especially if there's no consequences. It's, it's not like he's asking you if you're hiding Jews under your under your floor or anything. You know, your dad in Nazi is, Germany. Your dad is not a Nazi. He's not. You might think he is because he voted for somebody you don't like. You know, his name shall not be named. That's right. But, uh, Obama. But, uh, it's, uh, anyway, it's like, it's so ridiculous. You know, uh, yeah. Here's what you gotta do. Apologize profusely. Is that the right word? That's a good profusely word for Profusely? Yeah. It's not perversely, it's definitely profusely. Profusely to your father and your mother. Say, this is all my fault. Take them out on a nice dinner. Hoping that you actually have money. Well, thing is, considering he stole six boxes. Thing is, bad chance he did. How this is worded in here, I think this is a child. I don't think he's, uh, I, you know, of the adult mindset. You know, I think he's probably between twelve to probably. I think it's somebody in their twenties. Well, well, the way he was so comfortable with lying tells me it's not a child. Well, he definitely can't be above seventeen years. Okay, maybe. Because All right, I'll give you that. she was only married to him 17 years, and it's his mom. Well, you never know. That, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you so it could be it any goes. number of things. But either way, I, it's definitely at least somebody in their mid-teenage years because they were comfortable about lying. Right. And they just threw it like, yeah, I knew I wasn't going to get in trouble, so why not lie? Well, guess what? Problems happen. So, again, what you need to do, apologize to both your parents Tell them how horrible of a person you are, because you are. You are terrible. Do something very nice for them, mm -hmm. as sort of a way of apologizing. And then never do that ever, ever again. Well, thank you guys yeah. for coming and watching. This has been fun. This has been Cabe. I've been Abe. And you know what? I don't think we say it enough. Yeah? We appreciate you viewers. We do appreciate we you. We love enjoy. you. In fact, love you to we death. We know you're absolute strangers, and we don't know what you're doing in your private life. You might be a serial killer, but you know what? We love you. We love you. Yeah. That's right. So.
Anyway. You think about it, it's not that great to say you love your... Anyway, but yes, we do appreciate that you watch it. You know, I guess even serial killers. But you know something. what we would appreciate more? What would I appreciate? What would we you appreciate? would appreciate it? Tell them, Caleb. If they subscribe to the channel, yes, and indeed. left a like. You know, we looked at the analytics out of the thousands of people that watch each video. We found that only two percent of them actually subscribe. That's right. Take it as fact, right now. And you know now. what? It's making me rather depressed. And I'm not normally depressed. No. I'm an upbeat kind of guy. He's usually schizophrenic, so to be depressed is a different it's mental. It's complete different. Yes. And you know what? You can change that. You can by hitting that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and the bell. And the bell, because that's apparently a thing that YouTube decided that's to do. That's right. That's to, right. To like make it harder right. or something. Listen, we, YouTube hates their creators. We need people to hit subscribe because we need to get something that is vital money. We want your money. Well, yes. Yeah, if you, if you go to our, our Patreon that doesn't exist, uh, that's where you can uh, pay us. Yeah, because we love money. Yes. There's nothing in the world that we love more than money. Except Jesus. Except Jesus I... and people's approval. Yeah. In that order. Yes, in that order. But anyway, um, at the same time, you know, I know not everybody that watches our videos likes us. That's right. Some people don't like us. They, yes. they say mean things. Yes. They I say mean, hurtful things. Some people. They, they say that I'm on, that you or I are on our way to a devil's hell, which is not possible. That's right. Because when I was 16 years old, I repented of my sins and trusted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And that's, I mean that seriously. That's absolutely Just a serious true. thing there. But, uh, but yeah, uh, for those you know who may wish such things, it's not possible. That's right. So yeah. Yeah. Jokes but, on you. Ah. But anyway, ah. I think uh, that's a good point to end it though. Yep. Yep. So uh, we want to thank you guys again for watching. We really appreciate everybody that watches because anybody that watches is adding views and stuff. That's right. So so that's great. So, this has been Abe. This has been Cave. And this has been the Abe and Cave Show. Thanks for watching. Yins, have a great day. Bye. Oh, no. What? I don't know what's going on. It's kind of stuck. You're stuck? I don't know what's going on. Oh, no. Uh, I, okay? I, I can't. I, I don't know what's going okay. on. Here. Oh, it's the curses! Oh. It's the curses! Ah!